there's got to be something that looks totally out of place here. And has the words mysterious. Now, we already found something in here, didn't we? We found a, a something on the bedpost there. We found a boot right there. I'm not seeing it. No, I'm not. In Can I help? Wait, wait, wait. No. Hello. No. Oh, you're kidding me. How can I help? What is it? What? Uh, nothing? And we're back. It is early in the morning and I'm stood by a fire warming up. The reason for that is I spent the entire night down by the river in a little hidden, I don't know, grove? Not grove. What? What? A little hidden rocky area near to a river. Does such a place have a name? If so, that's where I spent the night. Feeling pretty miserable and fairly chilly. So I've run back here first thing in the morning to warm up. And I'm going to resume my search for mysterious objects in the Synod, Synod, however we say it. It does occur to me I could have just gone into the Synod building and warmed up. Yes, I could. It probably says something about me that my first thought is to run to a fire outside rather than a nice, warm, cosy building. Albeit a cosy building with mysterious... Okay, my... How do I get you to stay again? Is it triple click or something? Yeah, yeah! You are taking yeah. <laughs> Brilliant! Hanged around outside the Fighters Guild. Because the horse following me, well, we've had some bad experiences with that. Right, so yeah, I was in the process of trying to find mysterious objects. And I've sort of forgotten where I found them and what I was looking for. I know this, to me, looks... Well, it looks pretty mysterious. However, I found... A, I don't, what was it? It was like a crystal here. Did I find anything else in here? I don't think so. I found a boot here. Beyond that, I'm at a bit of a loss. That's, that's a soldier. That's a large soldier. Wait, what, what, what? No, wait. Black horse? No, that's... Wait, and there's something. There we go. Oh, it's a book. I, I thought it was something I could actually take without stealing, and therefore that would be. Minotaur. Horn. Was that a Minotaur? There, there was a Minotaur horn. Right there. I'm not actually looking at the horn. I don't know why that's of interest to me. Just idle curiosity. Okay. I think we're just going to have to start again and go over every single solitary inch of this place. <sighs> Did he just yawn? Hey, you've got no reason to yawn. You probably had a good night's sleep in a bed. You didn't spend the entire time staring at flowing water and feeling sorry for yourself. Well, maybe you did. I don't know. Maybe, that, maybe that's how you spend your evenings. That's not a mysterious object exactly, but it definitely is a thing of interest. However, I'm sure they would be most upset if I unlocked the case. Yes, indeed. This looks pretty unusual, but I can't even... I mean, what, is it part of the table? That looks eldritch to me. Hmm? It's, it's, is it a candlestick? A place for a crystal ball? Khajiit guards your back. Well, apparently it's not mysterious. The only other thing that looks mysterious here Khajiit is... Khajiit guards your back. Last King of the Aliens. 
Oh, I'm not stealing this. Okay, this is by Herm Herminia Sinner. I really want to read this. Yes, I do. Okay. I will have to read this standing up, apparently. Pretty sure it's not in here. I'm... I'm... At a bit of a loss. Mysterious weathered memoir. Okay, it's a book. Just lying on the floor. Of course it is. Oh, God. Upon opening, it becomes apparent that the book has been weathered and torn through the harsh grip of time. Few pages are still intact, but some passages remain legible. As I pen this, I gaze upon the walls of my home and remember the very day its design came to fruition. The home? Although it seems like yesterday, it was actually many ye. Okay. Coming up with a design for my home, a place where I could practice my magic in peace and keep myself away from the prying eyes of my colleagues, I pored over tomes and dusty scrolls, scoured the bookshops of the land, and even delved into ancient ruins looking for inspiration. Finally, as I rested my weary body at a camp outside of Bruma and marveled in awe at the majesty of the Gerald Mountains, I became inspired like a madman. I began to skip. Okay. Look, a step back to see what I had wrought. Frost Crag Spire is the tower that was born. Oh, am I going to get to go there? And now, as age overwhelms me and the glow is dying from my eyes, I wish. Contains many wonderful inventions. I've spent my whole life perfecting them, and I hope you'll put them to good use. Okay. Wait, okay, just, just, this is the guy that made Frost Crag Spire, right? All right. Contains many wonderful inventions. I've spent my whole life perfecting them, and I hope you'll put them to good use. My pride and joy is the Atronarch alt Altar. By bringing three salts from very same creatures to this altar, you can summon an Atronarch familiar to do your bidding. It will obey... Okay, I've created portals to all of the Mages Guild in Cyrodiil. This should make it easier to travel to them in times of need. Infused with the stone and mortar, many your journey may your journeys be safe and the roads travel free of danger. Okay. Who was this? Uh, oh, we don't have. It doesn't have a. It doesn't have a name. Doesn't have an author. Oh, I probably. I want to take that. I want to take that. I want to take it. Yes, I do. Okay, that's. Three items? Does that tend to suggest that... Flight from the Thalmor. Does that tend to suggest that these objects are coming from Frostcrag Spire? And if so, is it deliberate or accidental? I mean, fire salts. Was somebody trying to summon a frost? Oh, no, whoa, 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 whoa. There's portals to all of the uh, Mages Guild. This, did this used to be the Mages Guild? This used to be the Mages Guild, did it not? It may now be the Synod, Synod Conclave, but it used to be the Mages Guild. Okay, before we check the basement again, let's just check more of the floor areas. Soon as it could be something just lying around. It could be like a mysterious sack. But all I know. I haven't found them all, have I? Okay. I mean, I mean, usually you get a little. Let's have a look. Uh, search the Bruma Synod Conclave for strange items. I mean, I found a book. Surely, I should be able to talk. He's gone. Okay. Alright, never mind. Let's just keep looking. The problem is, I'm not totally sure what is and is not out of place here. I mean, the boot balanced on a railing. I suppose that was slightly out of place. And a crystal on a bed post. The thing is, he's... That's not that out of place to me. And even the book that was on the floor, you could say that was out of place. But let's face it, how many times have I seen things like books, pots, baskets, God knows what, lying around on the floor, very often after I walk through a door? 
I mean, Skyrim's a messy place. So why would Citadel be any different? But I can't see anything. And, and beyond that, I've sort of gone around looking at absolutely everything. And nothing else says mysterious. Dude, I'm at a bit of a loss. Have you learned anything more about our little perplexity? Well, I found a book. Here are all the new items that have appeared. Have I found them all? Have I found them all? Okay? Give them here. Let's see what they can tell us. I had! I found them all! Okay. Here's a soul gem, a boot, and a book. At least I think I found them all. Okay. Uh, soul gem. I found that on a bed. Not just any generic form of soul gem. This is a black soul gem. Only two types of people use these. Murderers and necromancers. This certainly isn't an item which carries with it a positive stigma. What else? I found a boot! Fairly common, but it seems familiar for some reason. This almost seems like the type of boot I would wear. Intriguing. What else? Okay, have you got a doppelganger? Are we going to get zapped back in time and you're going to be sending messages to yourself saying, Please come and save me, I've trapped myself. One of these strange portal. And there's a book. A book? Weathered memoirs, eh? This seems to be a journal of some sort about the creation of Frostcrag Spire. Well, this is an interesting twist in our little mystery. Before we examine this further, I'd like to see any other artifacts which may have appeared. I, I think that's it, is it? I, I'm pretty sure that's all of them. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. These told me a lot, thank you. One thing is certain. Whoever these items belong to is affiliated with the magical arts. More specifically, the darker side of the magical arts. It would also seem that our mystery mages have some connection with Frostcrag Spire. You're going to ask me to visit Frostcrag Spire, aren't you? Because <laughs> if you do, you're not going to have to twist my arm particularly hard. Well, what can you tell me about Frostcrag Spire? Haven't you seen that large tower in the mountains off in the distance? That oh, yeah. is Frostcrag. It was supposedly erected back in the late Third Era by some old mage with too much time on his hands. Quite the sight, isn't it? It would probably still be of great interest to the Synod too, were it not sealed off many years ago by its last residents. I'm not quite sure what part the Spire plays in the summoning of these mysterious objects. Yet. We shall see. Okay, uh, we should check out Frostcrag Spire. You're actually only half right. You see, now that I have at least some idea who's behind this, I'm restricting this investigation. The Synod appreciates what? all your help in solving this little enigma. But at this point... Wait, what's that? Oh, not again. Well, okay! Oh! Get... Uh... I probably should use the other weapon! Victory once again. Victory once again? Victory once again? A, a, do you do this a lot? And B, all you this did was madness. set fire to your desk. I am sick and tired of these intrusions. It would appear that your services are again required before payment can be rendered. I cannot simply step okay. back and allow this to continue. Not now that there is a tangible threat to our hall. I, we, must act. Okay. Go to Frostcrag Spire and do whatever is necessary to put an end to these infuriating escapades. I just hope that the college isn't somehow involved in this. Divines know they live to make trouble for us. Okay, dude. Two things. One, what do you mean you're gonna withhold payment until I've done that? First of all, I'm not really doing this for payment, but I don't see how that suddenly becomes my fault and therefore I don't get paid for the work that I didn't really think I was getting paid for anyway. And secondly, this was my idea. You just, you just, this guy appears, you set fire to your bench, whatever the hell that is, you've left a mark. I killed a zombie and then you come over and go, please go off and do the thing you wanted to do in the first place, but I said no to. I am always happy to help. He's really kind of irritating, isn't he?
So how do we get here? That is the million dollar question. Looking at the map, it seems like... I don't know. Can I get... No, that doesn't look... Ooh, that's not what I want to do. Uh, remove it. It looks more like that is the way, so possibly... It's difficult to tell. I'm going to try going this way, because I know there was a path up into the mountains. I did see it from the, the Gautier Manor. So, that's probably the, the best chance I have. At the very least, it'll probably get me to the other side of this mountain. When I have to kill the goblin leader and go to the frozen grotto and retrieve Alamu Nethra's heirloom. I don't even remember that one. I am. Um... <laughs> yes, indeed. I also need to talk to Dartak Toe about the charges against him. That just. That was jogged in my memory by the fact that I placed a bunch of stuff in my horse. Including a lot of bear pelts. And so he kind of updates the quest and says, You don't have enough bear pelts now! Because he wanted ten of them. However, he's around there. We'll, we'll get him on the way. Well, when we return. I really do want to head off towards... Is it, was it there? I think it's there. There it is. You can just see it. Peeking over. Right. Let's go. I think we're getting close. Well, there's the tower. Yeah, I... Th Did I just see bats flying off towards the tower? More necromancers, maybe? Yeah, it was here. Right. So, we follow this... Out of curiosity. What did... the sign actually say? Mountain? What the... What the hell was... My... God... Oh, God. Kajo, I think you hit me, mate. I actually think there's a guy behind me. I think... Right, uh... Let's make sure I got unrelenting force. That caught me a little. Unaware. This, this will hurt. Yes, it will hurt. Oh, Could you stop sliding down the hill? And... Do I have someone behind me? Hit him, Kajo, right in the back. Oh, God. Did I hit Kajo? Nope, no, I didn't. Oh, well, they hit. You must. There's an arch. Oh, Getting totally turned around here. Get away from Kajo! That one was Right! Gotta be shot by an archer! You think, you think you know pain? Pretty pretty much, yeah, actually. I wouldn't say we were on friendly terms, but we're definitely all the acquaintances. Please leave you? Are you kidding me? Damn you. Okay. How did, how did I miss? Well, I missed that time because I wasn't even looking at it. It's a bit late for that, I'm afraid. Is there someone right behind me? There's someone with a sword, so that's not Kajo because Kajo's got a mace. Or maybe not. Okay. That was a little unexpected. If, if you didn't notice. Okay. Let's just loot them for... Gavar the Cut Purse. Wait a minute, did you... Or did you loot him? Gavar the... Did we have a bounty or something... Didn't we fight a bunch of people here last time we were here? Oh, God, you know what? We probably have a few more bodies to loot, but all they're going to have is a few coins, and I've got about 110,000 of the damn things on me already. 
I could probably carry a few more. But you know what they say about the straw that broke the camel's back? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to walk the rest of the way. Is the horse following? Yeah, okay, the horse following. Because... Oh, okay. Did we manage to avoid... Oh, he's going to chase... He's going to chase the deer. We could possibly... Is that a cave? No. We can possibly skirt around him. Where's the house? Up ahead. Yeah, you chase the deer. That's Lund. No. Can we just scoot on past? Of course, Kaja is going to annoy him and he's going to chase us. No? How about the horse? Don't you dare hit my horse. Or Kaju. He doesn't seem to mind the horses. Mountain Watch. Brumus. The Mountain Watch is up in this direction. Hello? Skooma pet. Okay. Do not talk to the Skooma Peddler, Kaju, please. We're in enough trouble as it is. Trying to get up there. Now, there's footprints. Oh, okay. That is an oddly placed dog. Yes, wolf. Talk to Scruffy. Okay, I'm talking to Scruffy. Who are you, boy? As if he can answer me. I should take a closer look at you, find your master, and take him to you to them. Okay, yes, I, I can do that. Examine? Scruffy. How exactly do I examine Scruffy? Oh, God. On closer inspection, the dog appears heavily bruised. There appears to be patches where he is lacking fur. Uh, as though it has come out. In addition, he appears to have some cuts and scars under his fur. The bruises don't seem like they were caused by a, the local wildlife. His collar reads, Scruffy owner, Banus Jucani of Bruma. It seems Scruffy might not have been treated very well by his former owners. Banus Jucani. That name should ring a bell, shouldn't it? Bring Scruffy to Banus or find him a new home. Let's find him a new home. Wait a minute. Who, who, wait a minute. Uh, did we have... Did we not? Did we know somebody who needed a dog? Did we? Oh, of course we did. Of course we... If anyone sneaks Dude! Us, I'll smell them. Let's go do that now because here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to take the dog. We will see. Whoa, God. To, uh, to, to, um... Frostcrag... Spire. That would probably not be the correct place for it. I don't know who the other owner is. Are we being attacked? Where's the dog? Oh, God. Where's the, where's the dog, Kajam? Come on, Scruffy. Do you want me to walk? Is that it? Fine, I can walk. It's not that far from here. Banners Jucani. Was there somebody in Bruma? I think it was, you know. Let's... Uh, bring Scruffy to Banus. Let's not take him to Banus, because it looks like Banus was mistreating him and left him out here in the mountains. We shall take him to a certain innkeeper who misses his old friend. Okay. Don't... don't. Oh, don't worry about the ogre. He's, he's chasing... He's just chasing... Food. Isn't the horse following? Yeah, the horse is following. Okay, good. Horse and dog following. As for Kajo, who knows? Bit of a mystery. He'll find us eventually. He usually does. Some people would probably suggest that... 
my visit to Frostcrag Spire should take some sort of precedence over finding a home for a lost dog. Because, of course, it might indicate necromancers, some evil mage, a lich king. It could indicate all sorts of things going on that could threaten the entire universe. Or it could just be some explorer having tripped a lot of traps and random magical portals opening. Probably just as dangerous. However, sometimes it's the little deeds, the little acts of goodness that make the world worth saving in the first place. That is how I'm going to justify running all the way to the inn. Yes, it is. It's not that far. Couple of minutes. If the world was going to be destroyed in a couple of minutes, well, let's face it, it, it would have been destroyed a long time ago, especially with me being responsible. Okay. I do run a little faster than apparently even dogs. There you go. You've outrun my horse, though, which is good. And Kajo, which is not that big an achievement, to be honest. Yeah, okay. okay. We will... I'm sure they'll find us. They'll catch up. Let's introduce you to your new owner. What? Hello. Was it Arnos? No, it wasn't. It was... There you go. Uh, Arnos Rizula. I, the place seems quiet. Would you like to take the dog? I, well, stranger, if you'd be so kind, I'd, it would warm an old man's heart. It, here you go, have Scruff, no, don't have time to think. Take Scruffy's his Scruffy. name, Scruffy. Eh? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You are, you are, that's right. You're looking at me, dude. Oh, I'm a I good like boy. him already. That, that's good. I see I found myself a true canine companion. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. It's not much, but have what little earnings I have. Gold pales so much in comparison. Dude, I don't need your money. I really do not need your money. I mean, are you sure you don't? I we have a warm heart guilty. and warmer mead. I hear that. I've spoken to you, have I? Arn off the bright eye. Hello. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, yes, See you around. Okay. Brilliant. Well, have fun, Scruffy. Bye bye. Stop trying to leave. Oh, I think Scruffy might need to do some business, if you know what I mean. He's scratching at the door, dude. Hey, you probably know dogs better than I do. See? Now, be honest. Don't you feel a little warmer and a little cosier inside? Doesn't the world seem just a little bit more worth saving, after all? Hmm? It, it, it's, it's good for you. It's motivational. Yes, it was a distraction. Leave me alone. We made an old man happy. And we made a dog happy. You know, it's a good thing. Kajo's probably happy as well, but then that's Kajo. Kajo's always happy. Am I lost? Well, there's the spire. No, I don't think I am. I think this is the road the bandits ran down. Okay, there's the ogre, who apparently has either caught and eaten the deer, or just run past, run past, run past, or has given up. Let's hope he gives up chasing us. Is Kajo ignoring him? Well done. I think we can outrun an ogre. I tell you what, let's... Get back on. F oh, that was probably a bad egg. Dear. Oh. Okay. Werewolf Savage Walker. Who's. Oh. Farmer. That was a farmer. Farmer's dead. Farmer's. Oh. That was a shot. Oh, we. They've got a real werewolf pelt. They've got a really bad werewolf problem here. I'm sorry, miss. 
probably if I hadn't been looking behind to find out whether the ogre was attacking us, I might have spotted the werewolf a little quicker. Hmm. Right, or if I'd not gone and delivered the dog to the old man, maybe I would have spotted the werewolf way before he even got there. Oh, now I feel less warm and fuzzy inside. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, this is this is where we found Scruffy, I think. Am I seeing... Right. There is a path of sorts, at least there are... Footprints. However... We really do need to get up there. Are you seeing a way up there? I don't think so. I think we have to go all the way around. Yes, I do. Excuse me. We're going to have to go possibly to the other side of this mountain. Keep our eyes open for other little paths. Right. Uh, that ogre is slap bang in the middle of the path I think I need to take. Yes, he is. We, we can go around. Oh. But we, we have to go up here. Is he... Yeah, he's going to attack Kajo. Or, more importantly, Kajo's going to attack him. Okay. Oh. Have I not got... Do I need to recharge my... Yes, I do. I need to recharge the bow. You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. Yeah, that was sarcasm, wasn't it? You do seem to say that whenever I'm heading up a mountain that's currently covered in snow. Right, I'm actually thirsty as well. I should probably check Kajo's food and water situation. And... Oh, what I was going to do was I was going to charge my bow, was I not? Let's have a look. It is this one. Charge the sword as well. Why not? The... Dawnbreaker sword doesn't actually require recharging. For that one. To, oh. Okay, stop looking at your weapon. Let's just face facts. We're not getting past this guy. He's not threatening us. I just... I really feel bad about just shooting someone who's not it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. We have got to go past here, I'm afraid. Could you? Possibly not. You know, that should be enough to make an ogre run away. Mind you, they're not exactly clever. Are they? It should be enough to make a bandit run away, that's for sure. I mean, I'm in Star Rim armor, obviously magical. Gla glass dagger armor. Oh, I've not seen one of those for a long time, actually. I don't know. Oh, God. All right. You know what? Let's just face facts. None of them are happy to see us. Gosh, we just do. Don't. He's probably gonna. No soul gem large enough. Oh, we don't have any empty soul gems. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. From now on, we'll just shoot any and all ogres. This path is way too narrow to get around them. Okay. I'm getting a slight this is a trap vibe. Okay, so where does this go? Does this keep going to the other side of the mountain. I think it might. We've got 
possible way across if for some reason we don't want to take the bridge. But that's where we're going to be going. We'll be taking the bridge over. Yeah, this goes down to that side. To get up there, we need to cross the bridge or the tree. But I would suggest the bridge. Was Kaja was consumed? Okay, fair enough. I think he's still got water left. I heard him drink. Oh, there you go. Consumed water skin. Probably need to fill some of them up again. Sorry about this. They do look a little terrifying. I mean, I've got really good armor on. They probably can't hurt me that much. Although, more than mages can, believe it or not. But still, they're rather large, and that club does look rather dangerous. Where's Kajuk? Okay. Must admit, I was expecting more magical resistance. We're not going to find out it's actually a tribe of ogres has taken over, and they're busy pushing buttons and things, and that's why stuff is teleporting in and out. We've basically got curious ogres. Yes, I know this is not the way, by the way. I'm just uh, doing a reconnaissance trip. Okay. I mean, I suppose that could have happened, couldn't it? You know. Bunch of ogres break through the door. Oh, look, a portal. Mind you, you'd think something like an ogre would look at a portal that was shimmering and think, I'm going to leave. Okay, we got magical lights. You begin to warm up. Magical lights that give off heat. Nice. I may stay here a little. Should we tell the horses to... S yeah, let's tell the horses to stay down here. And then warm up on this light. God's sake, remind me to tell the horses to follow when we come back, though. So there seems to be a limit to how much each heat source can warm me up. And this one is not warming me up very much. I'm still slightly cold. Okay. And apparently slightly hungry. That I can fix, though. I will go with goat cheese. Just because I feel like a mountain goat at the moment. If we want to warm up any further, we're going to need to get inside this. Kajo, this is just... I know, I know we're here on an important job. We're not here to be tourists. I, I totally get that. I do totally get that. This is not even... An academic expedition where we're here to uncover the secrets. We're here to protect the people of Bruma. But if we happen to do a little bit of uh, exploring and discovering, you know, hey, all well and good. What the hell is... That's the door. Okay, no. You know what? I give in. I'm going full tourist mode. Dude, look at this! I kind of want one. I must admit, I think our library, once we build the damned thing, should have a spire. A big, tall spire with dials and things that look like they could be used to predict stuff. You know, passage of the stars and the seasons. Not that we need it, but I think I think all seats of academia need a tower. Just so you can stand at the top and look out as though you, you've got vision, you know? Okay, let's assume if anyone's home, they're not going to be happy to see us. What little message did I just get? Put the boy, boy. They've not had screamed and attacked you yet. Oh there, traveller. 
What's your business in Frostcrack Spire? Okay, I could ask you the same question. True. No official business, I just some questions. I'm on... Yeah, actually, what's you first? Ooh, that... Look at that! As you can see, I'm here with a college reclamation team. College? Frostcrack Spire has been claimed, under Imperial Doctrine, as a transient College of Whispers sinusure. We are trying to discover anything of magical interest in this spire. So, okay. again, I ask you, what your business here is? Right, here's the thing. Whatever you're doing is causing some chaos for the Synod Synod. Guessing you don't know about that? I mean, you're not in open warfare with them, are you? The Synod? The Synod have no right to this place. This is soon to be a fully-fledged College of Whispers sinusure. Right, 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 got it. I am quite bewildered at this turn of events. As you can see, I am here with a College Reclamation team. We are trying to discover anything of magical interest in this spire. What are you here for? I'm trying to solve a mystery. Let's tell him the truth. Yes, yes. Mystery? What kind of mystery? Well, yeah, strange items have been appearing in the Conclave, and we think they came from here. Well, I can assure you that we are in no way responsible. <coughs> uh... On second thought, I'm not so sure. The only thing I can say is to check with Master Astor Astentius here in the Sinusure. Something tells me he might have something to do with your little mystery. Yeah, dude, you 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 suck at the whole obfuscation thing. It's like, no, nothing to do with us. Oh, it probably does. Go speak to such a, such a guy. See, me, had I been in your case, I would have said, no, it's nothing to do with us. However, just to be sure, I shall check around. Then I would have personally gone and asked him myself. Okay. That is very cool. Yes, it is. You are taking us somewhere warm, I trust. This is this looks warmish. Can we step on that? Hello, Encarnus. I should chat with you in a minute. Oh, d look at this dude! I am getting so many ideas for the library. Yes, I am. You begin to warm up. This place is what? What's he doing? Let's talk to him. Encarnus. I'm rather busy with my work. Try one of the others around here. A uh, nice mask. Yes, it is. Supplied by our colleagues in Water's Edge. We may be practitioners of necromancy, but that does not mean we have to stand the intolerable stench which comes with its study. Okay, right, so the it College of Whispers... has prevented a fair right, bit of okay. fainting on my end. Not that I would actually faint, mind you. Just an expression. Yeah. You seem on it. What are you working on? Cataloging. You don't need to know the details. Probably don't want the to know them, but... The College of Whispers but... would not be named as such if we continually blurted out our findings to Passerby. I bet you any money I can get loads of you to blurt out your secrets to Passersby. I will bet you hard currency. I'm good at it. I don't know why, but apparently people love to tell me things. It's just... It must be a universe thing. Dragonborn. People just meet the Dragonborn and go, Oh! No, I've only just met you, but I have to confess, I murdered 15 people. Can you help me, somehow? Anyway, uh, you seem a little... tetchy. Do I? Yes. Well, maybe it's because I have my hands full trying to help establish a sinusure atop an oversized, frozen rock. Do you think that has anything to do with it? Yeah. Yeah, no, that, 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 that definitely would probably make me cranky, too. Hmm. So not all wandering vagabonds are as thick as two short planks. Good to know. I commend your ability to comprehend simple verbal arguments. Now be gone. Uh... I don't want Talk to speak to, to this person anymore. I mean, he seemed like he might be making some sense and then decided to uh, insult my intelligence. Very rude. Uh, I can't... Even my night vision is not going to... Okay, I need my sword to see with. Which, when you say it out loud, definitely sounds a little threatening, doesn't it? Yes, I need to find a way through this undergrowth with my gun. You know, not, not exactly something that makes people think... Well, 
the hell was that? What was that? Did... Oh! Teleportation thingies! But only if they're lit up. Okay, I probably have to use this. All right, then. Astor, you have to be more careful. We don't want anyone getting hurt in this experiment. Be calm, my dear. Be calm. We don't even know if the thing is sending anything through. We have yet to send anyone if anyone sneaks to the destination site. Or all we know, a blasted creature oh, could be in I pieces all over the gyros. But a zombie? What if it did go through and somebody gets hurt? It did. We can't have that we happen, didn't. Aster. We need live tests. Ugh. But I see your point. Very well. We'll do it your way. Well, thank you. I just hope it didn't cause too much of a panic over there already. <laughs> Bit of fire damage to the furniture. Uh, oh, by the eight, it's, it's freezing up here. Did Once you know strange items? I'm going to request relocation. Uh, okay, you don't like the cold. You and Kajo would get along famously. Did you know strange items are appearing in the Bruma Synod Conclave? You probably do. However, let's do the small talk first. How long have you been here? We've all been here since the mines over in our headquarters in Water's Edge decided so. I guess they've decided Frostcrag Spire was of enough magical significance to be claimed as a semi-official signature. I can see why. How long have I been here? Well, before this, I was a member of one of our oldest and most respected signatures, the Draclaw signature. Unfortunately, there isn't much left of the place now for me to be a member anymore, so I came out here to the frontier. Well, a frontier of sorts. Yeah, this is hardly a frontier. Uh, what's a sinusure? How did she pronounce it? Sinusure? Sinusure? A sinusure is the term the College of Whispers uses when referring to our halls or bases of operation. Okay. Don't worry. I used to get the College of Whispers sinusure and the Synod's conclave confused all the time, too. Synod. When I first signed up. Okay. Synod. Is Synod and sinusure. Okay. Uh, find anything interesting? Oh, plenty. This tower has been sealed for almost 150 years, so everything is still fresh. Can you feel the old magics? I'm sorry, but I can't let you in on the specifics of my findings. You Our will, guild though. prides itself on its ability to keep dangerous knowledge safely away from the common man. <laughs> you <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Have you been outside? Have you ever been outside of anywhere, ever? The place is filled with magic that's just wandering around randomly in the hands of complete... I'm not going to get you... I see people do this all the time, but actually watching them do it on a teleportation ring is somehow more impressive. Okay, what is this place? This? This is Frostcrag Spire. Didn't you know about it? I've read about it's it. It's rather hard to miss, I would say. I did see it. Uh, well, I have to wonder. What are you thinking, standing here, in one of the most famous magical locations in all of Cyrodiil? Ah, uh, it's... I'd rather keep my... Th it's... Uh, it's pretty awe-inspiring. I will admit... The place has got style and probably stuff. Stuff that's interesting. My thoughts exactly. Adventures like this are why I joined the college. You don't get to experience the sights the college offers you with guilds like the Synod, and being an independent mage is just so lonely. Okay. However, to business, did you know that random things like boots and zombies are appearing? in the Bruma Synod Conclave. What? Oh no. I knew the old man should have been more careful in his experiments. Go talk to Astor. He should be able to shed some light on your Conclave's little mystery. All right. Astor! I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but the College of Whispers is a very old and well-respected organization. How old? Does anyone mind if I pick Probably. This is just a route over there that's annoying me. Asta. Who are you? Uh, Have we met? Uh, maybe. You sound familiar and look familiar. What is this place? Let's hear Why, what... This is the ever-famous Wizard's Tower. Frostcrag's Spire. So much history has taken place inside these walls. So many mysteries to uncover. So many previous residents to reincarnate and interrogate. Oh. Okay. Sometimes I hardly believe that I'm standing in the birthplace of purple grumites and phosphorus elytra. Purple grumites. 
Here's the thing, when you say reincarnate to interrogate them, you make them zombies? Here's the thing, dude, usually when you make them zombies, they don't come back chatty. Unless you consider <laughs> to be a really good conversation. What's an elytra? You don't know what an elytra is? Elytra. They are the most fascinating creatures. Sounds I'm like sure I've told you about them before. No, you have not told me that before. Shut up. These people, am I this rude? Because some people have suggested I am occasionally a little snippy, but am I as rude as these people? Who's Carland? What do you mean, who's Carland? <laughs> Stop being ridiculous, and let's get back to our research already. Okay, that was random. What are you researching then? Same thing I've been researching for the past 12 years. This tower. It is truly fascinating. 12 years. Okay. I thought you all just arrived. Ah, you've been researching it through books, though, haven't you? Correct. On both accounts. The College of Whispers reclamation oh. team just arrived. I was here long before that. Originally, I came up here to scout out the area for magical artifacts, as many at the time had tried to do. I was different, though. I succeeded. In fact... I was the first to enter this place after it was sealed by an unknown mage nearly 150 years ago. I had only planned on staying for a week or two. It turned into three years. Three years? Well, yeah, what about the other nine? Nine years? Hmm. I'm not quite sure, to be perfectly honest with you. The last thing I remember sign. is packing up my equipment and leaving for a project I was assigned to in Hammerfell. I'm not going to talk about my time there. I wouldn't even if I could remember the full story. I know I was with uh, someone, though. Who was it? Tamlar? Hamland? No. Hm, odd. Indeed. Is this well, I certainly don't miss the hot, dry sand, that's for certain. How I got back here is anyone's guess, but I've been here ever since. Were there any other areas of my vast knowledge you wish to delve so, into? So, so, were we? You were here for three years, and then suddenly there's a nine-year gap. Where, oh, okay. Who's Carland? What can you tell me about the College of Whispers? They've been my family for most of my life. Don't you listen to wild rumor or those devious synod mages either. You say the Synod. It's not some rogue sect of necromancers or some secret hoarding gathering of rabble. No, we simply try to keep the people of Tamriel safe from their worst enemy, their own ignorance. We okay. keep the most dangerous knowledge and magic away from the public and in the hands of those who wish to devote themselves to its practice. That way, the real threats to society are powerless. Those who simply wish to learn the arts, all of them, can do so freely and without constriction. He's kind of making sense, to be honest. You know, he really is. Although I can't help but feel I've heard similar uh, code of honor, code of conduct in a previous life. Uh, did you know strange items are appearing in the Bruma Synod? Or Synod. Would you guys agree on a pronunciation for me? I prefer Synod. They are. Fascinating. It works then. Simply wonderful. What works? The teleporter, obviously. Why? The spire's portals, of course. You know, the ones I've spent the past few days slaving away at, tweaking, in an attempt to get the damn things to work properly. So, tell me. With the objects intact. Okay, well, they, um, some of them were partially intact. Some of them were, like, the zombie was intact, the boots were intact, but the fire assaults was, like, all over the place. Truly. Well, this calls for some celebration. We need to push further. Oh, yes. I think it's time to test this beautiful device out for real. Will you assist me? Without a true test, You'll never be able to move forward. What? It needs to be done if we ever wish to implement our own teleportation platforms in the Sinishers. 
I doubt the Synod will take too kindly to a Whisper's mage suddenly appearing in their conclave. Asta, you must calibrate the portal to send things away from Broom Bruma. I'm not Synod, stop or you'll get thrown out off this spire. Intimidate. No, no. You must calibrate the portal to send things away from Bruma. Don't send things into the city center. That's it. This is this is not a good idea. Test it somewhere remote. I'm all for it. Teleportation sounds very, very useful. And I'm going to be building a library and we could have a teleport there and we could share knowledge. I've got tons of knowledge about dragons. You'd like dragons. Just calibrate it away from a population center, okay? What? But why would you ask such a thing of me? It's my work. Because I, it's a town. I suppose you seem trustworthy enough, my friend. You wouldn't be asking without a good reason. Very well. I will stop. Oh. No, here's well, the thing. The frost crack. Care to help me with an experiment on the physical properties of Clan Veerskin? No? Well, I was still Very thinking we well. could test the... your we c I Is that you? I'm going to inform the Sy... Oh. What? I've changed my mind. I'm going to inform the Synod. Inform the Very Synod well. of... Of what? Have I got to go back to the Synod and say I've stopped it, but not mention that these what guys were here? Is that what I'm supposed to be doing? Uh, Hello. Frostcrag Spire Upper Balcony. Frostcrag Spire. Balcony. Let's go and have a look at the balcony. Because here's the thing. No, wait. What did you say? Oh, look, dude, look. This one. Wait. Can I, can I please use the teleportation? No, wait. What did you say? Actually, that's probably a bad idea. I mean, they're not even totally sure they can teleport things in one piece. 